Hello, Perspective. Um, today, I want to talk about a subject that is very controversial. Um, recently, I was hanging out with a friend of mine who's Canadian, and he was talking about how, uh, well, we, were, we just randomly came up in conversation, that he can't be a dual citizen of both Canada and America. And I think that's kind of strange. Um, see, it used to be that if your parents were from two different countries or um, you lived in a country long enough, you could become a dual citizen. You belong to two countries instead of just one. But um, most countries now aren't allowing you to be a dual citizen because they want you to just pick one and be a citizen there. Um, probably taxes, mostly, I'm guessing. Um, also, they don't want you to be able to easily change IDs and stuff. Um, in case you ever have, like, are running from them or something. Um, so yeah, you're not allowed to have dual citizenship anymore, which is kind of disappointing, because I wanted to be that cool guy that was, like, a tri-citizen. I wanted to be a citizen of Canada, America, and Mexico, and just be like, hey, I can go anywhere on the whole continent, yo. But I guess that dream's out the door now. Well, it wasn't much of a dream to begin with. But So, if you had to pick one country to be a citizen of the rest of your life, which country would that be? Rule, you're not allowed to pick the country you're currently in. I pick Canada. I mean, it's kind of nice, a little bit of snow, a couple of mooses. But other than that, it's pretty much way nice up in Canada. So that's what I would go for if I was, if I had to pick a different country to be a citizen of the rest of my life. So comment down in the comments what country you would pick to be a citizen for the rest of your life. And also... Uh, share with your friends, Facebook, like, and comment. That helps get discovered and bring our ideas around the world. So, don't do drugs. Stay in school. Don't eat roadkill. Have a good one, Perspective.